Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a super fun but also easy little drop from inside the hoop to below the hoop. This is a great way to practice being brave for drops. Also, it's fun to do and looks great in any routine or choreography. But before we break down this drop, I'm just gonna remind you to please check out my channel and subscribe. It really makes a big, big difference with the YouTube algorithm when you subscribe and like my videos. And I really, really appreciate it. Plus, I've got lots and lots of aerial tutorials over there for all levels. So take a minute, check it out, and please subscribe. Okay, moving on, let's do some pro tips. My first pro tip is that when you are in your cradle before you drop, you want to try to have the hoop really in your knee pit, so right where your knee bends, not too much on your thigh or on your calf. That way, when you drop to your knee pit, you're not going to end up scraping the hoop over your leg. My next pro tip is not to pull too hard on your foot. You are going to have your hand on your foot for safety, but it's not really pulling down too much, and the more you pull down, the more painful it's going to be. So keep that hand a little bit light, but firm on your ankle or foot. And my third pro tip is to drop quickly. With all drops, they're gonna look more impressive if you drop quickly and make it big and dramatic. And those were all your pro tips, so now let's break it down. Start sitting in the hoop and take one leg out the back of the hoop so that you have the hoop on the back of your front thigh. From there, place the opposite shoulder to your front leg. I have my right leg in the front, so I'm placing my left shoulder on the front side of the hoop coming into cradle. This, remember, is where you wanna have the hoop really in your knee pit. Hello, it's editing me, and I'm on a train. And I've just realized that when I did the voiceover for this video at 2 a.m. last night, I forgot to film a part. So the next part of the voiceover will have special train noise in the background. Wrap your bottom leg around your hooked leg, then slide your shoulders out of the hoop. As you start to drop, grab the ankle of your hooked leg. And as I drop, I come into this beautiful single knee hang or single hocks position on the bottom bar. Here's the whole thing again in real time so you can see how it works. Drops are super fun. I do highly recommend trying them over a mat because that is going to both be safer but also give you more confidence. If you know a mat's down there, you just have more confidence to do a big, sharp, dramatic drop. Once more, I'll remind you to please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out with bringing you guys these tutorials every week. And with that, I will see you guys next time.